You know what? It's okay to praise yourself sometimes. I am such a good gardener. Look at how beautiful my garden is. Now it's time to add some fertilizer. Hey! Uncle T, you surprised me. <laughs> I was standing here the whole time listening to you, brother. Oh, but what do you think about my garden? As you are bragging to yourself. It's lovely. It looks good. I've never met a bird who is a better gardener than you. Aw, thank you, Uncle T. And you look so happy today. I'll be even happier if I get to know why. There is big news I want to tell you. Big news? Okay, you have my attention. I received my prize from the rap contest. 10,000 Kokotoa shillings. I want to celebrate my victory with all my friends. So, I want you to help me to plan the party. Because I went to Ngedere and he told me that he's busy with his new business of carrying cargo with his truck at the market. Congratulations, Uncle T! So, when do you want us to meet up and plan the party? Today, right now. Right now? That's not possible, Uncle T. As you see, I've got something else to do right now. Maybe we should try tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay, goodbye. Bye, Uncle T. And congratulations again for your prize. Everyone is busy with their businesses. Gedere is busy with her new cargo carrying business at the market. Mamandege is busy with her new garden. They don't care about my party at all. They think I have nothing meaningful to do. Don't they? But maybe it's true. Maybe I don't have meaningful things to do. <laughs> it's true. I have to find something to do. But what should I do? Aha! I have 10,000 Kokotoa shillings. What if I open a shop? A retail shop that sells sweets, sugar, rice, everything. Then I will turn all my customers into friends so that I will have so many friends to plan parties with and invite them to my parties even if Mamandege and Gedere ignore my invitations. Uh, I'm going to open a shop. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. I'm about to open a retail shop and I've been told that here, in your wholesale store, I can get everything I want for my shop. That's true. What are you looking for exactly? What do you have? Almost everything. We sell sugar, rice, flour, cooking oil, everything. Okay. So, please, give me everything I wrote on this paper. Ah, our stock has everything in this store except one thing. What thing? A scale. You don't sell scales? We do, but unfortunately, we are out of stock. We expect it to be available from next week. Next week? Okay, let's do this. Can you weigh one kilo of rice on your scale for me to see? To see? Okay. This is what a kilo looks like. Good. Now, do a half kilo, then a quarter. Okay. And this is half a kilo. Good. Good. And this is the quarter. Good. Now I know what a kilo looks like, how a half looks like, and a quarter. I'll be measuring for my customers by just looking at it. By looking? Yes. Are you sure it's possible? You don't believe me? I'm Uncle T, the master of mathematics. The whole Kokotoa knows this. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, let me give you your other things. Here we go. Five bags of everything I need to open my shop. Now I will carry all of them one by one to my shop. <clears throat> They are so heavy. Let me just drag them. Uh, oui, they are still heavy. Perhaps I should carry them one by one. Oui, they are still heavy. I'm not, I'm not giving up. I will make sure I drag them all to my shop. Oof, finally, all five bags are here. Now it's time to open my shop. Wow, let me brag like Mama Lady. My shop looks beautiful. Who is going to be my first customer? Let's see. Hello. Welcome my first customer. What can I get you, huh? 
The rice is over here, flour over there. Here is the cooking oil and sugar. And up there are sweets, biscuits, eggs and toothbrushes. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Huh? I want a kilo of rice, please. One minute. Here is your one kilo of rice. Why didn't you measure it on scale? I don't have a scale. You don't have a scale? So how do you know if what you measured is correct? <laughs> I'm good at it. Good at measuring weight with your eyes? Mm. Okay. Bye. You are welcome. Please tell others about my shop. That was my first customer. Who is next? Let's see. Listen to me. Listen to me fast. Listen to me. Guys, guys, calm down. I will save you all. Wow. I didn't expect people to like my shop like this. So many customers, I can't even handle them all. Listen to me. Guys, guys, man. Let me listen to you. Oh, my gosh. Man, what can I get you? I want three kilos of rice. I want one kilo of sugar. I want a kilo of flour. Okay, I've heard you. I'll serve you all. <laughs> Look, he doesn't measure things using a scale. You may want a kilo, but you get two. <laughs> Amazing. Hi, Uncle T. Your shop is beautiful. Why didn't you tell us you were opening a shop, Uncle T? <sighs> and why you don't look happy, Uncle T? What's wrong? Guys. I'm confused. Confused? Why, Uncle T? After opening the shop, I got so many customers. I sold everything. But the problem is that the shop is out of stock and the money I got is so small compared to what I expected to get. Do you mean you've got a loss, Uncle yes, T? Yes, Kibena. But how come I got a loss while I had so many customers? Hello. Uncle T, serve the customer first. Welcome. What can I get you? A kilo of sugar, please. Here, welcome again. Thanks. Uncle T, why didn't you measure the sugar using a scale? I don't have a scale, Kibena. You what? Yes, I went to the store to buy it, but I found that the scales were out of stock. So I asked the seller to measure one kilo, half a kilo, and quarter a kilo, so I could see how they look. And from that, now I know how they look, so I can measure everything by just looking. You measure by looking? Please don't tell me you've been doing that since you opened the shop, Uncle T. Yes, Koba. Why do you all look surprised? You don't believe me? We believe you, Uncle T. We've just witnessed you measuring a kilo of sugar by looking at it. What surprises us is that you're saying you don't know the reason for you getting a loss while it's so clear. It's so clear? How? Kiduchu. You can't measure weight with your eyes, Uncle T. You have to have a skill. And it's possible that was the reason for your loss because maybe you were over measuring things. Hey, maybe you're right. Maybe that's why so many people were coming to my shop because I was over measuring things. Maybe. Duh. What should I do now? Get a scale. Scales are out of stock until next week, Kibena. And I'm not ready to close my shop. I love it. It makes me happy. I make new friends here. I wish running a shop would be easy as carrying cargo at the market, or gardening, or playing on swings at the playground. A swing? Yes, a, a swing. swing. What about it, Koba? When we were learning about simple machines, Ms. Mler told us that a seesaw is an example of a simple machine. And? You all know how seesaw works, right? Yes, Koba. Two people with similar weight get on the seesaw. One sits on the right side and the other sits on the left. Then the seesaw starts to lift both sides up and down. Up and down. And if one of them is way heavier than the other, the seesaw will never work because the light side will fail to lift up the heavy side. Good, Kibena. And do you know how the scale works? Yes, it works just like a seesaw. You put a stone with particular kilos on one side and the goods on the other side. And if the stone happens to be heavier than the goods, the good side will be lifted up. And if the good side is heavier than the stone side, the stone side will be lifted up. So usually the seller adds or reduces goods until both sides balance. Wait kids, now you are just talking about machines and seesaws that you've forgotten all about my problem. We're talking about your problem, Uncle T. Don't worry. Do you know what a machine is, Uncle T? Yes, a machine is anything with wheels that can simplify work. You're correct on the part of simplifying work, Uncle T. But you're wrong on the wheels part. It's not like every machine has to have wheels. There are some machines that don't. So, 
I'm supposed to say a machine is anything that simplifies work. Yes. yes. So, Uncle T, we've been told that some machines are called simple machines. And also, there are different types of simple machines. There is a wedge, inclined plane, screw, wheel and axles, pulley and lever. Hey, I've never heard any of those things that you've just mentioned. What are they? Inclined plane is a simple machine that looks like a stairs without stair steps. It's used as an aid for raising or lowering a load. Example of an inclined plane is the ramp that we build at school so that people who are in a wheelchair, like me, can go to the class easy. Wheel and axle is a simple machine that is used to carry loads or weights around easily for long distances with very little effort. Examples are bicycles and car tires. Screw is a simple machine that helps to hold things together, such as pieces of wood or metal. Examples are the end of light bulbs, water faucets, bottle caps, and even some ink pens. A wedge is a simple machine that has an edge and it's used to separate or cut an object. An example of a wedge is a knife or an axe. Pulley is a simple machine that uses a rope or chain to lift or lower heavy objects. Example of pulley is the wheel and rope that is used to fetch water in the well with a bucket. And lever is a simple machine that helps us lift loads with little effort or measure things or see which weighs more. Examples of a lever are scissors, seesaw, and a weighing scale. Wow, you children have a lot of knowledge. Thank you for teaching me, but I still don't know how this knowledge will help me with my problem. Aha, I get your point, Koba. You mean we can make a scale for Uncle T by looking at how the lever works? Hey, you can make a machine. Yes, Uncle T, it's simple to make a simple machine, just like his name. You can make a simple machine at home using things that surround you in your daily life, like bowls, pieces of wood, and so on. So you guys can make a scale for me? We have never made one before. But since we know how levers work, we can make one and see the results. Thank you so much, kids. After you finish making that scale, I will pay each of you with a box of sweets. You don't need to pay us, Uncle T. We're trying to be generous by helping you to solve your problem because you are our friend. And generosity is Utu. It's true, kids. Thank you so much for your generosity. Also, I've learned that being the best in something does not mean that you know everything. There's always a new thing to learn. I'm the master of masters of mathematics, but today, I learned about simple machines. Now, let's make a scale together. Ah, simple machines. Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go, let's go! Without my friends, how could I know? How could I know about simple machines? Without my friends, how could I know? How could I know about simple machines? Without my friends, how would I learn about simple machines? Without them saying making simple machines is very easy. I wouldn't know the wage, the wheel and exo. I wouldn't know the pulley. The inclined plane, I know six machines, two to go. Please remember, the screw and the lever, yeah, my friends are clever. <laughs> That's why I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm seeing. Without my friends, how could I know? How could I know about simple machines? Without my friends, how could I know? How could I know about simple machines? What is a simple machine? I know you're wondering. It's a tool we use to make work easier. It saves time and make work easier. You can find it anywhere, easy to make, yeah. And I learn all that from my friends. I learn by using simple machine. It can make work easier. For example, carrying heavy stuff, moving things from one place to another, slicing tomatoes for dinner. <laughs> yes, even a knife is a simple machine, yo. <laughs> Without my friends, how could I know? How could I know about simple machines? Without my friends, how could I know? How could I know about simple machines? <laughs> We're done, Uncle T. Do you like it? I like it. <laughs> I'm so happy. I don't know even know what to say. This scale is perfect. Let me take this small money I got. Let's go buy everything I need to reopen the shop. Kids, all bigs are here. Now I want you to use your generosity again to help me carry them to the shop. There are three bigs and five of us. Each big will be carried by two people. 
and I'll carry the one that's left. One, one bag, bag for two, two people? people? That's not easy, Uncle T. These bags look heavy, and your shop is very far from here. Uncle T, will you really be able to carry one bag by yourself? Yes, I carried all five bags before, but it took me a long time, and I end up tired. What should we do now? Why don't we use Ngedere's truck? Ngedere is not around. But what if we make our own car like the way we made a scale? Isn't the car a machine too? <laughs> yes, Uncle T. A car is a machine too, but not a simple machine. A car is a complex machine. A complex machine? What is the difference between a complex machine and a simple machine? The difference between those two is that complex machine is a machine that's made up of two or more simple machines. And for that reason, it takes more time and tools to make a complex machine. Maybe what we can do is to make a simple machine that can simplify the work of carrying these bags. You mean we should make something like a cart? Not something like a cart, Uncle Z. An actual cart. <laughs> <laughs> we have agreed that we are going to make a cart. Which type of simple machine are we going to use from those six types? A cart has wheels. Oh, I think a cart will fall under the wheel and axle. I think you're right, Uncle T. Now let's go make a cart. The cart is ready. Now, let's load the bags and go. Hello. Hello. Welcome. What can I get you? A kilo of maize flour, please. Okay. And I've got good news to tell you. You are the first customer I use this scale with. Here you go. A kilo net that's measured on the scale. Welcome. Thank you. Uncle T. Ndedere, <laughs> Mama Andrege, welcome, welcome, welcome to my shop. <laughs> Thank you. Your shop is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. What can I get you? We are here to plan your party. My party? I thought you guys didn't take it as seriously as your business. That's why you ignored me when I came to you. No, Uncle T. We did not ignore you. We told you that we were busy. Uncle T? Don't expect people to always have time to help you on your things at any time you need. You just have to keep in mind that whoever you ask for help also has other things to do. So, you have to give them enough time to help. I see. Okay. I hear you guys. I am very sorry, my friend. My misunderstanding helped me because I wouldn't have had this shop right now. I used some of my price to open this shop, but thankfully, I still have some left to have the party. Don't worry. Now let's play at the party. <laughs> All right, I'm coming out there. Let me first take a pen and a paper. And uh, are, are you sure you don't want anything to eat or drink from my shop? <laughs> we are not sure about that, but we are very sure that we really want to know how a giraffe fits in that tiny shop. <laughs> Did you like this video and want to watch more? Yay! Subscribe to get exclusive access to premium content and more. Only in the Bongo Playroom. Free for download today. The only place you can watch, sing, read, play, and learn with all your favorite Obongo characters. What are you waiting for? Available in English, Kiswahili, French, Hausa, and more.